audience and we'll get um, some questions. I'm sure they've got questions for you. Hey, Thank I'm you. Davis Wayne. Um, I was in the ensemble. takes all of those sheets and puts them into the app that you can take these little color-coded blocks of people and and uh, draw arrows where they go and then pick like mix and match where people go and change them and you can save them and then you can share that with also like uh, if the if the dance captain makes these specific stage right sheets then you can share them with the, the swings and then they can share them with the other swings or if the vacation swing comes on uh, to the show but swinging is like one of the most difficult things. The hardest job. And it takes a really like special brain mm -hmm. to be good at it. Yeah. Well, which I don't have that kind of brain. Who else has questions? Yes, sir. I could imagine this music is Jerry Human. First of all, you guys, bravo, <laughs> bravo. <laughs> but I could imagine Jerry Human. This whole show is full of such beautiful music, but I could imagine after hearing dancing over and over, you can be like, okay, change the record. How do you <laughs> perform it still with such, it's such a light, invigorate, like how do you portray that? How do you, you know, get past hearing it time and time again and reviving it as the fresh piece that it is? This Hello Dolly music, how do you do that? I think about the audience every night. Yeah, because okay, yeah, never yeah. Seen yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think when I, and the other thing is, I go and try to see as much other theater as I can mm -hmm. when we're in cities that have lots of great regional theater and other tours that come through because then I get to have that experience in the audience yeah. where I'm seeing it for the first time and I'm seeing people, like in Chicago, I saw this one woman show at 7.30 p.m. on a Sunday night and she was giving it all. And I was like, she's probably done this third, like 50 times at this point, but I was so moved and I thought if that woman could get up and talk for 90 minutes and move me to tears, yeah. I can do it too. And that's what kind of keeps me, keeps me going. Also, you know, the, the orchestrations are so incredibly yeah. um, layered and mm -hmm. every time you hear something different, you know, if you're yeah. like paying attention to something different and I see different things that happen on stage too, mm -hmm. like different interactions that I didn't know about. So that's what keeps it fresh for me. I think it's also like, this show in particular, it's easy to keep it exciting, at least for me, and, and light and joyous, because mm -hmm. it, it naturally in itself is so joyous in that way, and it's, it's such melodic, beautiful music, mm -hmm. um, that it's, 
it's really lovely to dance to. As someone like who's in the ensemble and does it every night, it it does really feel like fill me with so much joy. So I think it's easy to share that with the mm -hmm. audience every night as well. Yeah, and I think also you, it's such a, a give and, and, and a feed. So like we give uh, kind of like the same performance, but also the audience gives us so much back that yeah. it makes you, it makes it feel like it's the same or the it's an opening night kind of every night where oh, you're not that. the nerves aren't there but the excitement is always there and mm -hmm. I don't ever really get sick of shows that I do for like an extended period I don't know if that's just me but it's just because every night is like every every show is a new show mm -hmm. and um, there's always something different and mm -hmm. yeah. helps when you're moving too oh, because I this is the same out here but backstage we're learning a new backstage oh. and for the last three weeks it's been every but you know, then we have a couple longer sit downs. But even then, you know, you're you're learning something, some things at least a little bit different. You know, a new dresser, or a new mm. um, wing, something. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was curious how do you, how you guys travel. I mean, are you in like a 1953 Greyhound bus? <laughs> <laughs> certain amount of bus hour travel in a day. So you can't go past that. Anything longer than six, six, six hours, hours, six yeah. hours you have to fly. Mm -hmm. um, but then you also have the option to, to not fly and find your own mode of transportation. If, you know, if you're going somewhere else and then you're gonna, like you're gonna fly home for a day and then you just fly back out to San Francisco, you have that option too. Yeah. So. We're allowed two suitcases, on and then we have a trunk too that carries all of our stuff. Mm -hmm. I think the trunk is always of interest to people. Like, ooh, you're carrying the trunk. We've been there. Like, my tea kettle. <laughs> Where'd you go? Yeah, yeah. Blenders. Yeah. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Uh, how do you guys prepare dance wise uh, for the show? Because your guys' technique is just so astounding. I can't even believe how you guys do all those dance moves. Thank you. Um, I think. Day, day to day, there's the like each person's own prep with whatever your warm up um, regimen is. I know a lot of us are also um, to, to some degree conditioning during the day as well. Um, that's not like every day of the week, but it's very common for members of the ensemble, especially the dancers, to be hitting the gym a couple days a week to um, like take a Pilates class, a bar class, whatever, a dance class, obviously, um, whatever like works best for you. And that's a great way to keep conditioning get your body doing other kinds of movement um, besides the same dancing we're doing every night. And then um, to, I guess the prep to get us to here into the stage and like, like the precision I hope is coming across, um, we had a really great rehearsal process. We had a month rehearsal in New York. Um, so that was a, that's a great amount of time. Uh, we're not always lucky doing shows to have four weeks of rehearsal. Sometimes it's one week, um, really changes. but. I think the rehearsal process really helped, and then we also had a nice tech period where we got to the show on stage and got to get used to it with all of our um, set elements, and that was about two weeks as well. So I think that really helped. Do you want to say anything? Um, yeah, I, uh, and also our uh, Lisa, who's our, our PT. Mm -hmm. our, uh, we have a physical really, therapist physical that travels. Yeah, she really keeps us in check because my body falls apart really easily, <laughs> and um, she's kind of there to tape it back together. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Do you have any collisions in that the waiter dance? <laughs> tonight. Mm -hmm. Tonight? I don't think. No, no, no. But, no, yes. Tonight. Oh my god, yes. Of so course. Fast. <laughs> we hope not to, but it happens. It happens. There's so many moving parts in that number and I think that's the thrill of it that when it when it goes right, it's like wow, we just all accomplished such a big feat and task of you know, not dropping a tray, not dro letting a bottle fly off the stage, a napkin go awry, a plate. Yes, yeah. Sometimes, like, the food items on a tray fall off. Like, it, you name it, it's probably happened. Um, so it, it really takes a lot of, 
uh, professionalism, being on top of where you're supposed to be in that exact moment, and that number truly is like choreographed and timed yeah, down to the, to the dime. So um, it, it does happen. We hope it. We hope it What's doesn't happen. What's the worst happen. happen? What's the worst thing that's happened? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What is the worst thing that's happened? Um, I have personally dropped some bottles a couple times during performance. It's not fun, but we. But the great thing is too, you know, like. Obviously, you don't hope that happens, but it really does keep things fresh and interesting. So yeah. you're like, okay, how am I going to save this moment as quickly yeah. as possible and as like professionally and fluidly <laughs> as I can? Like, yeah, if something dro does drop in, we've had things drop and roll all the way out to the passerelle, right. and then no one goes onto the passerelle during the waiters' dance so until the end of the number. So we're like, who's going to pick it up? Like, <laughs> like people calling back on each side of the stage, like, okay, what are we going to do about it? Blah, blah, blah. And, and so we'll just like walk out there and be like. <laughs> but usually it's the easy things that like walking backstage you get yeah nothing's like terrible that happens which is devastating speaking of food they wanted to know before you guys came out what is she eating yeah. during we can't we tell not allowed to say oh. what? it's one of our few rules you can read yeah. Carol Channing's book and it's in there <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Yes, we have. <laughs> <laughs>